Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, good morning, friends. My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer on, oh my goodness, Thursday, January 7th, 2021. And normally on Thursdays, I like to look at whatever the second reading is for the lectionary on Sunday, and we can kind of riff our prayer off that. And that actually is what we'll do, because if you go to a church that uses the lectionary, chances are good you're going to hear Acts chapter 10 um, on Sunday. But how could we not pray about what happened yesterday? I'm not even going to try to talk about it, about um, what happened to the nation's capital, because people a lot wiser than I am, and with great skills with words, poets and preachers and writers of all great um, skills, they're talking about that, so you don't, you guys don't need me. But what we do need to do is figure out how to come to the Lord and pray for our nation and our people. So Acts chapter 10 for Sunday, it's coming Sunday, is uh, an excerpt from a homily by Peter, the Peter, St. Peter, uh, Jesus' apostle, who gathered, who spoke to a bunch of um, non-Jews. That was pretty radical alone at the time, because, of course, our Lord Jesus um, was Jewish, a Jewish preacher and teacher and prophet. So Peter, who is also Jewish, shows up in the house, of a man named Cornelius, who was not Jewish. So um, he goes inside and starts telling them the good news. So this is a bit something we take for granted now as modern Christians and as Americans. At least I hope we do. Peter's uh, first line in this homily, which is, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Okay, then. So, um, and he goes on to, Peter goes on to evidence that by speaking in the home of someone that he would have normally considered impure beneath him, whatever, on multiple levels. So, the last line of the passage we'll read together on Sunday is talking about Jesus. Jesus went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. So, um, let's take that to prayer today, okay? In the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy, amen. Let's begin. By your grace, O oh Lord, help us to come back to this present moment, Holy Spirit, where you are, for Jesus is Emmanuel. God with us. So, friend, let's take a series of three breaths together uh, to help ground us back in this moment. It's not yesterday. We're not um, in this moment. At least I hope we're not watching crazy images of violence and terror. We are wherever we are. So let's come back to this moment. This is where God is right now. So we'll take those three breaths. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears God and acts with rightness is acceptable to God. You know the word that God sent to the Israelites as God proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. 
what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. Jesus went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So this is not a Bible study. Obviously, there's a lot to unpack. And um, if, if you, my friend, are interested in learning more about where this reading is coming from, what the original authors meant, how it might apply today, etc., etc., you can go ahead and Google Acts 10, Acts chapter 10. And uh, we were reading in the 30s section of Acts chapter 10, okay? Acts 10, 34 to 38. But now our goal is just to take this to prayer. So, um, being that I'm at feeling at a bit of loss today, let's take the words of the scripture and just turn them right back into a prayer to God. Okay, we're going to take the very words that Peter, yes, that Peter used to talk about Jesus and God. Let's use those words and turn them into a prayer. In truth, we see, O oh God, that you show no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears you and acts rightly is acceptable to you. We know the word you sent to the Israelites as you proclaimed peace through Jesus, the Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after Jesus' baptism by John, how you, O oh God, anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. And then, O oh God, you sent Jesus to do good, and he healed all those oppressed by the devil because you were with him. May this be so in our day as well. May each of us live up to our calling as Christian, as a little Christ, as someone who, um, <laughs> I'm thinking of another passage from Paul, oh God, where St. Paul is inspired to say, put on Jesus Christ like you would a suit of clothes. Or, or your armor if you're a military person. Help us to be those little Christs so dressed in Jesus Christ that from a distance down the street someone can say, Oh, wow, is that Jesus? Oh, no, it's so-and-so. Help us to continue to bring your peace, your proclamation of peace to the world, your proclamation of connectedness and completedness and goodness for the sake of justice. Help us too, O oh God, to bring healing to all those oppressed by evil. Be with us, O oh God, and make it so. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As always, friend, thank you for being with me as I kind of, uh, riff off the scriptures or the headlines or whatever we're praying about. Um, obviously, I'm not particularly polished in this, and that's the point, right? If you want to polish, you'd be looking somewhere else. Um, the point is, how do we turn to God? How do we pray? What do we pray for and about in these difficult times? Some of it's obvious, right? The Lord's Prayer, our daily bread, the grace to forgive as we want to be forgiven, that God's reign would come. And yes, let's pray the Lord's Prayer every day. Um, and that too, if you don't happen to remember it from your childhood, no cause for shame. Just Google the Lord's Prayer. I'm sure it'll come up. Um, but when we read 
the scriptures too, like this this passage. I didn't choose this for today. It just happens to be what's on the lectionary for Sunday. <sighs> Help us, O oh God, to do good and to heal all those oppressed by evil. In Jesus' name. It's a prayer that kind of naturally rises up when we read this. God was with Jesus, and God is with you, dear friend. Be blessed with the Holy Spirit and with power so that you too may go about doing good and bringing healing to all those oppressed by the evil one. Be blessed in the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. Amen.